So these are our three terms. Does it measure weights? Does it measuring? Does it produce range? And does the range matter? Let's use that to examine some of the tools we currently face right now. How about uh, competencies? Many of you are rated, you may not even know this, but you're rated against certain competencies that you're supposed to possess. A gap will be revealed in where you're supposedly low in a certain competency based upon someone's rating of you, and then you're supposed to fix that so you can get promoted. These competency models are hugely important to whether or not you're going to make more money and grow your career. Are they reliable? Uh, almost immediately the answer to the question is no. Your competencies are being rated by another person who's rating you on a competency like strategic thinking or like growth orientation. Well, we know that the person who's rating you is an unreliable source of data on whether you have strategic thinking or growth orientation. This person is rating you on these things and we know 61 to 62 percent of his or her rating of you reflects the rater, not the ratee, you. So almost immediately we know all competency ratings are unreliable data. How about performance ratings? You're going to get a performance rating. How does that stack up on any of these? Well, to begin with, right away we know the manager's rating of your performance, rating of your performance, is unreliable data. Why? Because the manager is an idiosyncratic rater. They are an unreliable rater of your performance. They are an unreliable rater of your potential. What does that mean? That means all these nine box grids that some of you are familiar with, where you've got performance up the y-axis and potential on the x, and we sit around in these talent review meetings and people rate you, you didn't, maybe you didn't even know this, that people rate you on performance and potential and they put you and the other people on your team somewhere on this grid. Is this good data? No. Why? Because people's rating of your performance and your potential is unreliable. It reveals the rater, not the ratee. All nine box grids are bad data. Why? Because it's unreliable data. It's not measuring your performance. It's not measuring your potential. Bad data. So let's look at employee opinion surveys. All of you will participate in employee opinion survey. How do they do? Well, actually, many of them are reliable. How do we know that? Because many of the questions in the survey ask you to rate you. You rate your own experience. Rate your own intentions. Do you plan to work here a year from now? Do you believe in the mission of the company? Do you understand what is expected of you? All of those you are a reliable rater of, so they're reliable. They often do produce variation. Some departments score higher than other departments. Maybe if you've got your scores, you can sometimes see that your scores are lower on that question than the company average, so you can see variation. Last one, are, do those scores matter? If you score higher, on the employee engagement survey, does it produce higher or more positive employee behaviors two, three, four months from now? This is where almost all employee engagement surveys fall down. They're just not valid, which means the scores that you get from them just don't matter. What do we mean by that? We mean the people who score higher or the teams that score higher on the questions don't actually produce better outcomes two, three, four, five months from now. Remember, the point of an employee engagement survey is to go, because people feel more engaged, they then will do more productive things. If we're going to say our data is valid, we've got to prove that the people who measurably have higher engagement actually do something more productive later. If we can't prove with our tool that higher scores here produces higher scores here, then the tool's invalid. And if we're not really careful, we'll get managers and team members everywhere running around to kind of get higher scores on something that doesn't produce higher business outcomes later. That's a lack of criterion rated, related validity. So where do we stand today? 360 surveys fall down here. Nine boxes fall down here. Performance ratings fall down here. Most employee engagement surveys fall down here. In the next video, we're going to come back and explain how we, we're not the only ones, but how we have tried to create a tool or tools that clear each one of these good data hurdles. Come back next time.